three huge things happened this week. One, I turned 34, so happy birthday to me. Two, I opened an eBay store. And three, I had a great sale this week. If you want to find out more about all those things, stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Oh, hey everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And this has been really an exciting week, not really at my full-time job as a teacher because that's just kind of been the same old, same old, but in my little part-time gig as a part-time reseller, I have been doing a lot of really fun things and just a lot of interesting and awesome things have been happening. One of which is, well, this is more personal life, I guess. This is not so much related to reselling, but I did turn 34. And as you can see, I have somewhat given up on life. I'm literally in my PJs right now. Like this shirt, I'll show you what it says. It's from my brother. It says, drink, pee, repeat. <laughs> he got it for me literally as my souvenir from Korea when he went a few years ago. No, it was like more than a decade ago. Like he went a long time ago. But even, you know, a decade younger, he should have known better than to get me this t-shirt. But I actually love it and I sleep in it all the time. And it's ridiculous like me. So whatever. Also, apparently when you turn 34, like pimples make a comeback. Like look at, look at this little number right here. And then I got like, you know, they say that as you get older, like your acne goes away. Not so. That is not the truth. Not with me, apparently. So yeah, I've just kind of given up on looking presentable, which is why I'm in my PJs right now. Not even going to try to conceal this situation. So you're welcome. Also, because it was my birthday, my husband actually got me a ring light and tripod set up. So that's really exciting because believe it or not, all of the videos that I've made up until this point have been with really crappy just lamps that we have in our house or just whatever lights we have, you know, up above with like the ceiling fan and all that kind of stuff. And I would just set my phone on like stacks of boxes and books. So I feel like I've really kind of made an upgrade here in my life and I'm really excited. And this is my first video with the little ring light set up. So let me know if you see any sort of difference. So the second huge thing that I mentioned that happened this week is that I finally opened an eBay store. I didn't want to take the plunge until I, you know, felt like I had learn the ins and outs of eBay just a little bit. I mean, not that I know the ins and outs of it because I feel like since the time I started really taking eBay seriously, there've been like two updates to the eBay seller agreement contract, whatever you want to call it. So I feel like they're constantly changing things before I even have time to figure out what exactly is up. But that being said, I feel like I finally am comfortable enough with like the shipping, which is the biggest thing that I was worried about and just like listing and doing all the things that you're supposed to do with eBay. And I've finally been starting to make somewhat consistent sales. And I had hit the point where I had run out of my 50 free listings that they give you in a month. And I knew that I wanted to be listing more consistently over there, especially with the help of List Perfectly. And so I decided to finally take the plunge. I'm only doing like the very basic of stores. I think it's like $5 a month or something. But with that, you get a hundred free listings. And I even still got like an email just yesterday about, or maybe it was today, about 500 free listings. So I'm still getting those promotional emails on top of it. So I'm gonna hurry up and film through this so that I can try to list 500 listings. It's not gonna happen. I only have until Thursday and today is Sunday, but I, I will do what I can. Because it was my birthday too, I did run a random sale in both my eBay store and in my Poshmark closet. Since I'm turning 34, I decided to run a three-day sale where everything was 34% off. It was not like the most successful thing that I've ever done, but that's probably because I literally decided like the day before my birthday around like five o'clock to just do this random sale. And so I didn't have a lot of time to like prep it or to let people know about it. I just kind of did it and I made a few sales that way and it is what it is. But with the sale and just I think with listing consistently and sharing consistently, I had a pretty phenomenal sales week for myself. I mean, the amount that I made is probably what many of you or many other people who you know sell full time, especially this is maybe what they make in like a day. <laughs> but I felt really good about making this much in a week because like I mentioned earlier, I am part time. I did want to highlight one comment that a viewer left last week because I thought it was just so funny and so amazing. And it's because I 
I was talking in last week's video about what my what sold videos consist of and I always share with you my net sales so I don't even really tell you what my gross sales for the week are because I don't even bother tracking that because that's not the amount that goes in my bank account but I always try to be as honest as I can with you guys about what money is making its way into my bank account. Now, the only amount that I am not subtracting from the amount that I give you is my cost of goods. And that's because I don't do a phenomenal job of tracking my cost of goods. I'm starting to do a better job, but I still don't do like line by line how much I spent on each individual item. But I do track like the amount that I spend at Goodwill or you know different thrift stores and stuff like that. So the amount that I share with you in this video is the amount that I take home after shipping costs, after you know Poshmark and Mercari and eBay fees and all of that. And this comment that this viewer left for me, I thought was amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you because yeah, that was awesome. So if you wanna know what's sold, let's get trekking because I got some what's sold for you today. So let's start with my Monday sales, which was September 9th. I sold two bundles over on Poshmark. Both of them were four for $25 sales. And if you don't know, I like to run an everlasting sale in my Poshmark closet of just like older items or items that I've gotten for free from people that I know maybe aren't worth a whole lot. And I still think it's worth listing them, but I like to put them in this four for $25 sale. So the first bundle had four items in it. And the first item was this vintage and tape paisley skirt in a size medium it had an elastic band waist and I believe my mother-in-law gave it to me for free I knew that it was vintage because the tag like the tag that said Ann Taylor on it was super old and you could just tell looking at this like this was an old style of a skirt but you know I feel like some people like this kind of stuff especially because it's very modest and it'd be really cute with like a crop top or just like a shirt tucked into it I don't know like even though it has an older vibe to it, I could still see even like a young person rocking this. So that was the first item. The second item was um, just a pretty basic purple v-neck t-shirt from Pink by Victoria's Secrets in a size large. I think that I got this at the bins and you know, it was like a quarter or something. It was just so lightweight. It's just a t-shirt. So I went ahead and got it at the bins and it did sell pretty quickly after listing it. The next thing that I sold was this Adidas for motion orange workout tank for motion is the name of their like technology <laughs> you know how nike has dry fit adidas apparently has for motion i think it's an older thing too like i don't know that it's something that they put on a lot of their newer items but it was this tank top in a size large and i believe i did get this out of goodwill i think i paid way too much for it when i did get it but it finally sold as part of this bundle. And then the last thing to sell in this bundle, oh my gosh, I was so excited to see it go. I've had this thing forever. I started reselling in, I mean, I guess technically it was December of 2017, but it was literally like, I listed my first thing on December 27th or something like that. So this item I picked up when I went thrifting in February of 2018. So literally it was like my second month of being a part-time reseller and I was just like so excited. And I went with my husband, we were visiting his parents and we went to this thrift store and they were doing dollar day. Like everything in their store was a dollar. So I like went crazy and I'm still paying for it because a lot of those items I, well not a lot, I've sold through the majority of them, but there are like a handful that are still in my closet because it's like, what, what was I thinking? So this shirt is by the brand Buttons. I, I don't know who sells that brand. I've never seen it really other than this one shirt. And it, I mean, it is a cute shirt. It's like a chambray type shirt, but it also had this like handkerchief print, like these big panels along the sides. And it was a button up shirt with a collar and a size large. I mean, I think it was pretty cute. That's why I picked it up. I just, I, I, don't, I don't know like where Buttons is from. I don't, I don't know anything else about the shirt. Um, so it took forever to finally sell, but this whole bundle sold for $25 because it was four for $25. And I made $20 on that bundle. And I got to finally get rid of literally like one of the oldest items in my Poshmark closet. But I was very, very thankful to see those items move. I believe that this may have sold to a viewer, if I remember correctly. If so, thank you so much. The next bundle that sold was another four for $25 bundle. And the first item was this Anthropology Diletta orange keyhole shirt. 
it was like three quarter length and it was just like a really pretty I don't know it was kind of blousey just you know like a knit top and it had like an orange and white print I want to say the problem was it did have a little hole in the front like at the bottom of the shirt I did obviously take pictures of it and I disclosed that in the listing but you know that definitely prevented me from being able to sell it for top dollar the next item was this Madewell Whisper crew neck long sleeve t-shirt and it had like two tones of gray in it and this was in a size small. I remember I picked this up at a Goodwill and I probably paid full price for it because it was toward the beginning of my you know reselling career and I just got so excited when I first started reselling anytime I found Madewell. And now I know that you can't just pick things up because of the brand name. It has to be you know, somewhat of a desirable piece. And this was a basic tee. Like, let's be honest, it's a basic long sleeve t-shirt. And yes, it's by Madewell, but just because it's made by Madewell doesn't mean that it is the bee's knees. So I learned my lesson because this has been in my closet for a very long time. The next thing that sold in this bundle was by Lucky Brand, and it was this paisley, like, yellow and brown shirt, short sleeve shirt with, like, studding up on top, like a studded detail. It was cute, but I don't know, like Lucky Brand tops just don't do very well for me. I picked it up because people were saying that like Lucky Brand was amazing and it sells so fast and so well for them. This has been in my closet for a very long time. Um, it was a size medium and I think I picked it up at Goodwill. I probably paid like the full you know, $3.99 for it. So again, lesson learned. And then the last thing was actually a personal item of mine and it was by J. Crew Factory and it was really cute. It was this tunic with like gold chevron print detail, whatever, I can't talk today, um, going across it in a size extra small. The problem was it had like this tie detail in the front and it had these little tassels at the end of the tie and my son ripped one of the tassels off of one of the sides. So obviously I took pictures of it and I, you know, put all the information in the listing, but I just, I can't have nice things, you know? It's like one, when you have kids, you can't have nice things because they just break everything or they ruin everything. That's why I just wear shirts like this, you know? It's like this, that explains a lot of why I look the way that I look right now. It's, it's cause I have children. So those were all my sales over on Poshmark on Monday. I had an eBay sale and it was this flax black button up blazer jacket in a size medium. Um, as are most flax pieces, this was made of 100% linen and I called it a jacket because I didn't really know what else to call it. Like I called it a blazer jacket, but it was really thin. It didn't feel like a normal blazer, but it definitely wasn't just like a shirt. You know what I mean? This person offered me $30. I think I had it listed for like 34 over on eBay. So that was really reasonable and the buyer also also paid for shipping so I ended up making $26.10 on that sale. I believe I picked this piece up at a Goodwill and I think I probably did pay like full price for it which I was not mad about because you know I ended up selling for a good amount. I did have it listed on Poshmark for quite some time and then it finally sold over on eBay once I you know ended up getting it listed over there. Flax is definitely one of those items that it's more geared towards you know a more mature audience and so I think that's why it wasn't really selling over on Poshmark but I'm glad that I finally came to my senses and sold it over on eBay. On Tuesday the 10th I only sold one thing and it was this American Eagle pair of cutoff shorts and they were like Bermuda shorts in a size 2. I'm trying to remember how this happened. I think that part of me actually thinks that was Tuesday like a closet clear out. I don't, I don't remember. Like I, maybe it was a closet clear out and I contacted the person who liked the item and was like, hey, it's closet clear out day. Do you want to, you know, get this item if I drop it for this price and then Poshmark will pay for discounted shipping? I, I don't know. But eventually it sold for $14 and I made $11.05. I just remember like communicating a lot with this person. And so for some reason, I think that it was closet clear out and that it sold through my closet clear out strategy, which I just explained to you. So I realized that for whatever reason this one sale did not make its way into the video but on September 10th I also sold this bundle of two pieces the first being this Morona bag. Morona is from Target and it was just this small gray and blue crossbody purse and the next item that sold and by the way both of these items were in my 4 for $25 sale 
I believe my same friend who had given me that Dear 72 sweater, she had given this to me for free. And then the second piece I did thrift and it was this Marvel Avengers graphic v-neck t-shirt in a size large. I picked this up at a Goodwill and I definitely wouldn't recommend picking up these kinds of graphic tees. But these were both in my four for $25 sale. I sent her an offer of $12 and so I made $9.05 off of those two items. So next on Wednesday the 11th, I had a couple sales over on Poshmark. One was this Old Navy 100% cotton sweater in a size medium. It was part of my four for $25 sale, but this person just got the one item. Um, they offered me $7 for it and I gladly accepted and I made $4.05. I don't know where this sweater came from. I think it came from Steve, which if you saw my last video, Steve and his wife Kathy donated a ton of stuff again. So I think this actually came from him because I definitely would not have gotten this at the bins. I definitely would not have gotten this at a Goodwill. So somehow this ended up in my house. I listed it. I made $4.05 off of it. I am very happy with that. The next thing that sold, I also definitely got from Steve, I remember, and it was this new with tags, Harley Davidson shirt with like a Looney Tunes graphic on it, and I believe that the graphic was on the front and back, and it was in a size large. I live in a pretty small town. It's affectionately known as Champaign-Urbana because the University of Illinois has, you know, its campus in both towns. The university is known as the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. I live in Champaign, but I teach in Urbana, and really, like, I'm in both towns, like, every day because they're right next to each other. And in Urbana, there's actually a Harley Davidson store and this shirt came from that store. Now it's not vintage or anything, but it was new with tags. So I shot for the stars and I think I had it listed for like $48 and I probably had it listed for like two months or something, but someone finally sent me an offer on Poshmark for $36, which I happily accepted because remember I got this shirt for free. So I made $28.80 of pure profit on this t-shirt which is crazy. People who like Harley Davidson like really like Harley Davidson. On eBay I had a couple sales including a full price sale. So the first sale over on eBay was this North Face graphic t-shirt or I should say the North Face and it was a size large and it just said like the North Face with I don't know, some other stuff on it. I mean, you, you can see it here. I had it listed for $17.99. It sold for $17.99 with free shipping. So I did have to pay shipping, which came out to $3.22 since it went in first class. It was a you know super lightweight shirt. I got this t-shirt at the Goodwill bins. I don't remember when. It was you know one of my recent trips. Um, even though it was just a t-shirt, I was like, oh, it's the North Face. It's in good shape. Like I'll go ahead and get it. So I made $12.43 off of that which most of that was profit because I probably paid like 25 cents, 50 cents for this shirt because I got it at the bins. And the last thing that sold this day on eBay was this J. Crew Mercantile ruffle sweater in I believe a size extra small and it was in this like tan beige-ish color. It was something that I got at a local thrift store in Urbana and it is this like non-for-profit thrift store that I don't know, like they do a lot of really great things in the community and the people who work there are people who are in need. So yeah, I don't know, it's a really cool thrift store and I remember just stopping in one day. Sometimes I have a lot of really great luck, but more often than not, I usually don't find a whole lot of stuff. But this day I did come across the sweater and if you know anything about J. Crew, they have been going through some tumultuous times lately, I feel like. So, you know, I think they were trying to like cool it on the J. Crew factory and so they came up with this like J. Crew mercantile, but I think it was literally in existence for like a year or something. Like it's no more, but I did find Find this sweater and when I found it I was like oh this has to be new because I saw that it was from J. Crew Mercantile and I knew that that wasn't a brand that was around for very long and sure enough when I looked at the tag it was from 2018 so I like the fact that it was like a newer piece but yeah I mean I feel like J. Crew in general is just kind of going down as far as resale value so I had it listed maybe for like $28 someone sent me an offer for 20 which I was fine with, and I also had to pay for shipping, so I paid $3.22 for shipping, and I made $14.18 off of that sweater. On Thursday, I had sales over on Poshmark and eBay as well. The first thing that I sold was this American Eagle Marled Cable Knit 
green turtleneck sweater in a size small. I paid 50 cents for this at a thrift store that used to be in town, but it has, you know, since shut down, which is really sad because it was an amazing thrift store, but that's okay. So the person offered $15 for it. I think I had it listed for like 18, so I was really happy about that, especially because I've had this for over a year. Like it got so many likes. I relisted it. Again, it got so many likes. No one would bite the bullet though. I would send out offers to likers on it. Like I don't, I don't understand what was going on. And that means I made like $11.50 profit off of this item because I pay 50 cents for it. Like I remember finding it on the 50 cent rack and being like, what? Yeah, I'll get that for 50 cents. The next thing that sold on Thursday the 12th was this blazer from Zara Basic. Zara has a lot of random different lines and this was from the Zara basic line, which I found interesting because I don't think it's very basic looking, but it was this tweed blazer and it had really cute elbow patches on it. I love me a good elbow patch. And it was in a size medium. Someone sent me an offer for $28, so I made $22.40 off of that. I don't remember where I got this. I think I got it at Goodwill. I probably paid like $4.99 for it if I paid full price for it, which I still think was well worth it. And then the last thing that sold, and oh my gosh, I was so excited about this, was this pair of Jimmy Choo Edwin Mint Pointed Toe Heels in a size seven. I got these Jimmy Choo's in a thread up rescue box of like 20 pairs of shoes for like $125 or something like that. I will link that haul and unboxing here. But basically I got this box of like random shoes and some of them were utter garbage, but then I got two pairs of really nice designer shoes, including these Jimmy Choo's. The other designer shoes were a pair of Miu Miu's that actually sold a few weeks ago. So someone offered me $75 for these, which I think I had them listed for like 124, which means that they offered me like almost 50% of my asking price. Like, I mean, it was a little bit more than 50%, but it was not a whole lot. And I was okay with it because I've talked about this before in previous videos, but I feel like trying to sell designer brand stuff is kind of hard because a lot of people don't have access to designer brands and they don't know if it fits them very well. So, you know, it's kind of scary to drop a lot of money for designer labels, even if you're still getting a really good deal, especially compared to, you know, what they'd be paying for at retail. I think these shoes retail were like, $480 or something crazy like that. So even though you're getting a great deal when you pay, you know, $75 or $100 or $124, which was my original asking price, even though you're getting a great deal, it's still a lot more than the average Joe Schmo like myself pays for shoes. So it's like a exciting thing to find something of this caliber as far as, you know, labels go but also it doesn't mean that you're gonna sell it very quickly. So I was very happy to move these finally and make $60 off of them. And in case you're wondering, I have more than made my money back on that one initial investment I made on that box. So if you've been on the fence about trying out Thread of Rescue boxes, I highly recommend at least the shoe one because it went really well for me. I have, however, heard from different people, you know, especially in like the comment section down below from viewers like you, I've heard people say that they've gotten these thread up rescue boxes with shoes and they've not been pleased and their box is nowhere near as good as mine. So, I mean, who knows? But I mean, I took a risk and it paid off handsomely. So those were my Poshmark sales. Over on eBay, I had, you know, a few auctions that ended and of those few, I made a sale on one of them and it was this Vera Bradley red paisley mini bag. It was like the cutest little thing. It was so small. I mean, I imagine it's like something that like a little kid would play with, you know, they could play like grown up with it or something. I got it at the Goodwill bins. I believe the last time that I went with a group of other resellers and I will link that video right here. I started the auction off at 3 so someone made one bid of $3.99. They did have to pay for shipping, so I made $3.84 on that bag. I probably should have started the auction higher, but I kind of highly doubt that it would have gotten a higher bid, so I'm totally fine with making my $3.84 on it. It was more one of those things, like it was just so cute, I could not leave it behind. And then the last thing that sold on eBay, literally sold within like, I want to say hours of me listing it, and it was this pair of Silver Suki surplus bootcut jeans with a back pocket flap, and they were in a size 18. I think that I got these at the bins, if I'm not mistaken, and the buyer offered $20. I think I had them listed for $28 or maybe even like $32 or something. And so I was kind of contemplating like, should I counter? But because they sold so fast, I was like, 
it's fine. Like I'd rather move them now than sit on them for, you know, weeks or months or whatever. Um, they did pay for $7 of shipping. It still came out to like $9.88 or something like that. So I did end up paying $2.88 on top of what the buyer paid. And I still made a profit of $14.52, which I was really happy about because like I said, it was a really quick flip and someone got a really great pair of jeans too. So Friday is when I decided to do this sale. It literally just like came to me while I was eating dinner that day. And I was like, I should do a sale and so I did. Some of these items are a result of that sale and some of them are not. So the first thing that sold on Poshmark on Friday the 13th was this J Crew Ripple Stitch Striped Snap Front Cardigan in a size medium. This cardigan was really cool. It was blue and white striped. It was also really heavy and I got it at the bin. So probably when all was said and done, I probably paid like I don't know, like three to four dollars for it because it was insanely heavy. I got an offer for it for twenty dollars, and I had also only had this listed for I think literally a day, maybe a few hours again. I don't know. Like I remember listing it, I think during my lunch break at school, and I think it sold later that day. So I ended up making sixteen dollars on that sale, which again I was really happy about because it sold so fast. And you'll notice that like this week I sold a lot of cardigans, I sold a lot of sweaters and blazers and things of that nature. So if you have any of your sweaters and blazers and stuff like that, list them now. Like people are shopping for the fall. They don't really want shorts or anything like that anymore. I know I sold one pair of shorts, but I think that was really an anomaly. I don't think I'm going to be selling very many more shorts or t-shirts or things of that nature because people are, you know, stocking up for the fall and winter. So if you have any of that stuff, list it now. The next thing that sold was a bundle of two Lucky Brand pieces, which is funny because I know I just talked about how Lucky Brand doesn't sell very well for me. One of these was an older piece. So I was really happy to see it move. And then the second one was something that I just listed. So the first item was a Lucky Brand embroidered tunic. It was black with like blue embroidery on front and it was a size medium. I don't remember where I picked this up, but it has been in my closet for a while, so I was happy to move it. And the second piece was this Lucky Brand black and white tunic turtleneck in a size medium. It had two little pockets on the front, and it was just like a long length turtleneck. It was from the bins the last time that I went with my reseller friends, and I believe that I sold these as a result of my sale. So I you know, messaged the buyer, and I let them know when I saw that they had liked these items that I was running this sale and this was the price that I'd be able to offer them the bundle at. And I believe it went to a viewer, so if it was you, thank you so much. And so I ended up offering this bundle to them for $37. And so I made $29.60 on that bundle, which I was really happy about because, you know, the turtleneck I had listed very recently, within like the last few days, and that um, other tunic from Lucky Brand, that first piece, had been in my closet for a while, so I was just really happy to move it. And then the last thing that sold on Friday, <laughs> sold as a result of my 34% off birthday sale. And it was this new without tags Marvel Captain America swim trunks in a size four or five for a little boy. It was really cute. I think I had it listed for like $8 at this point. It was in my four for $25 sale, if I'm not mistaken and I just wanted it gone. So I offered it to her for $5. I made $2.05 off of those swimming trunks. I'm pretty sure I lost money on those because I remember getting those at Goodwill and I probably paid like $2.99 for them or something. So at the end of the day, I'm fairly certain I lost money on those, but I'm just glad to get those out. I will not be picking up kids swimwear anymore unless I get it at the bins, but it's definitely not worth picking up at a regular Goodwill. I did have some great sales over on eBay as well on Friday the 13th. The first thing that sold was another blazer and it was this Anthropology Rosie Mayra? Mayra? Myra? Um, it was like a linen blend blazer with this really pretty polka dot print to it. I remember finding this at Goodwill and being like, this looks like anthropology. So I looked for, you know, the care tag where the RN number was. And sure enough, the RN number was 66170. I don't know this brand very well. And I don't know that it's carried at anthropology very often, but I thought it was really cute. Now I have had this in my closet for close to a year. So it's not like it sold super fast because anthropology just doesn't sell that fast anymore. But I had it listed over on eBay for maybe around like like 
$34 or something like that with free shipping. And so someone offered me $30, which I happily accepted. I paid $3.96 for shipping, so I made a profit of $22.14, which I'm really happy about. And I think over on Poshmark, I dropped the price to like $28 or something like that. And people would like it, but no one, you know, no one wanted it bad enough to make an offer on it. So I was happy to finally move that. I also sold this Abercrombie gray striped hoodie. It was like a zip up hoodie. It was a men's hoodie. I don't remember what size it was. I had it listed for $27.99 plus they had to pay for shipping. And for whatever crazy reason, somebody bought it at my full asking price. So I made $24.35, which is crazy. Is this the right thing? Yeah. It's the hoodie. So I got this actually at the bins, maybe the last time that I went, or maybe it was the time before that when I went with, you know, Michelle from the bin pickers. I think it was the last time that I went though. And I do remember it was like crazy heavy, which is why I made sure to have the buyer pay for shipping. But yeah, I mean, it sold for its full asking price. Sometimes Abercrombie stuff can do really well. So don't pass on it if you can get it for cheap. And then the last thing that I sold on Friday the 13th over on eBay was this Athleta dress. It was called the Nanda dress and it had like a knotted racer back to it. And it was in a size large. It had this kind of interesting like asymmetrical look to it. Um, it sold for $18.47. That's because it sold as part of my 34% off birthday sale. That was like the full 34% off. It did sell with free shipping, so I had to pay for $3.88. So I made $12.19 on that sale. I got that at a Goodwill. I probably paid like $5.99 for it. So at the end of the day, my profit margin was not huge, but that's okay, what can you do? Next, on my actual birthday, sales were not like amazing, but they were okay. I mean, I sold some stuff, so that's better than not, right? So the first thing that sold was a two-piece bundle as part of my birthday sale. It was this New With Tags Sienna strappy black and white floral dress in a size medium. This was a really cool dress. Like I got it at Goodwill um, a few months ago. I will link that um, haul right here and I don't know, like it was just really pretty. It had this like metallic thread woven throughout. And I didn't know very much about the brand, but because it was new with tags, I was like, I'll try it. I think I did pay like the full $5.99 for it, but I mean, it's okay. It was just so pretty. I couldn't leave it there at Goodwill. And then the next piece actually is from my friend Kathy. And I did show it in my haul that I just posted maybe like last Saturday and I will link that right here. But basically in that video I shared one, my tips on how to, you know, get free stuff from people that you have in your life who may just have clothes laying around their house and they don't know what to do with it so you can take it off their hands. And then I also just shared part one of probably like a three part series when it comes to all the free stuff that I got from my friends, Steve and Kathy. So if you want to see what kind of stuff I get for free, especially just from like one family, that's what you can watch in that video. But I did show this dress by Elogues. I don't know how to pronounce this. Elogues. <laughs> you can see it here. And it was the striped flowy dress in a size small. It looks like it's probably just like a boutique brand or something. Regardless, the you know sale price with the 34% discount came out to $30, so I made $24 off of both those pieces. And that sold was this Michigan t-shirt by All Style Apparel, and it was 100% cotton, and it was in a size medium. Um, the M on it was embroidered, and it sold for $8, so I made $5.05. I think that I got this at the bins. It did end up having like a little small hole in it, which is why I didn't have it listed for very much at all. If I remember correctly, I think they sent me an offer, and I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. I should move it for $8. People who like Michigan stuff, they like Michigan stuff, you know what I mean? I just went to Goodwill yesterday, yes, yesterday for my birthday, and my husband found this Michigan like polo shirt and I was like, yep, get it because people who like Michigan really like Michigan. Over on eBay, I had a few auctions end and I sold two auction pieces for $1.99 each. So 
whatever. These are items that I got for free and I just wanted to move them. So the first was this Banana Republic black long sleeve stretchy shirt. It had a decent amount of Lycra in it, so it was very stretchy. I started the auction at $1.99, plus they had to pay for shipping. So I made $1.73 when all was said and done. You could tell this was an older Banana Republic piece, which is why I didn't mind moving it for $1.99. I just like have this thing where like if I get pieces into my home, I will try and sell it. Like even if I make a buck off of it, literally like a dollar, I will try and sell it because I hate the idea of sending it to Goodwill and knowing that it may end up in a landfill because you know, if Goodwill doesn't sell it, where are they gonna take it? And I don't know what my Goodwill does with clothes that don't sell. We don't have a bins location around here, so I don't know that it would go to like a bins where it gets another shot at life. So I try my very hardest not to send stuff to Goodwill and I will literally make a dollar and 73 cents off of an item if I need to. I also got that item for free from someone at my church. So, you know, it's still a dollar and 73 cents in my pocket that I didn't have before. I will go and get McDonald's Coke with that and I'm happy, right? Like, yeah, I'm totally okay with that. I will not turn my nose up at a dollar and 73 cents. The next thing that sold again for a dollar 99, again, is a Banana Republic shirt. It was this white cap sleeve, pretty sheer shirt, very lightweight, and it was in a size small. I had them pay for shipping, so I again made a dollar and 73 cents off of that. Again, somebody gave that to me for free. I think it was the same person that actually gave me that black long sleeve shirt that I just talked about. So, you know, already I've made like close to $4 off of these two items. I will take it. On Sunday the 15th, which is today and the last day of sales that I will talk about in this video, I sold this four for $25 item. It wasn't actually part of like a four for $25 thing. They just bought the one thing, but it was this Talbot brown pleated paisley skirt in a size zero. It was like a wool blend and I do believe it was vintage, but I didn't write vintage in the listing just because I wasn't sure and it sold for my full asking price of $10 so I made $7.05. I actually think that I may have bought this at a thrift store and I don't know what I was thinking like I don't know why but it was definitely way earlier in my thrifting career and so yeah, I mean, I won't be picking stuff up like this anymore unless it's from like the bins because even though it is older and it is like, you know, a very old style, there are people who like this kind of stuff. And I mean, it is pretty, like I think it's pretty, which is why I picked it up in the first place. But I mean, I will only get it if it's like free <laughs> or maybe at the bins. But even then I probably honestly at this point in my life, I'll, I'll definitely be passing on stuff like this in the future. By the way, these sales that I'm talking about right now are Poshmark sales. So that Talbot skirt was a Poshmark sale. And then this bundle that I sold next was this three-piece bundle. They sold as part of my 34% off sale. So the first piece was given to me for free by the same person that gave me the other Banana Republic pieces. And this piece was from Banana Republic. It was made of like this Italian wool and cashmere blend. There was other stuff in there too, like cotton and... Lord knows what else, but it was just this, you know, pretty basic v-neck sweater. It did have like a little panel of fabric along the bottom that was different from what the rest of the sweater was made out of. It was in a size small. This actually did get like a decent amount of attention in my Poshmark closet for whatever reason. Um, I did have someone like give me a lowball offer of $10 on it, which, you know, I kept countering and they were like, no, thank you. And then I had someone who, because I think I originally had it listed for like 20 something dollars or something like that. So someone else had liked it today and I had reached out to them about the fact that, you know, I was doing this 34% off sale and it was closet clear out today too. So I was like, hey, I'll drop the price to $15 and you can get a dollar and 80 cents off of shipping because it's closet clear out. Are you interested in that? And the person was like, yeah, I am. So I dropped the price and then nothing happened. And when I dropped the price, the person who had originally sent me that $10 lowball offer like weeks ago, sent me a $10 offer again, and I just kind of like didn't respond to that person because I was waiting for the other person to accept the $15, you know, 
price drop. But when that didn't happen, someone else liked the item and you know liked a few of my other items. So I let her know about the sale, and she was like, "Okay, yeah, I definitely want to you know take advantage of your sale." So she bundled these three pieces together, and I'm happy that you know this item finally sold after getting so much interest, which I was kind of surprised that happened in the first place. So the second item that sold in this bundle was this Nike hoodie, and it had this like really oversized hood like I don't know and I've sold a couple hoodies like this by Nike now but it had this like just crazy hoodie that could just cover your whole head I don't know I don't know why you would want that but you know this person wanted that and it was in this like dark teal color in a size small and then the last thing in this bundle was actually in my four for $25 sale but obviously they didn't get like four items within the $25 thing I'm a bit whatever like you know what it is at this point but it was this brand called Deer 72 Deer 72 is this store and I think it's a chain but I know that there's one for sure in Urbana and it's this Korean brand and they have really cute stuff I just don't know that like the brand recognition is there but I do really love their pieces and this was given to me for free by a friend of mine who was moving to Chicago and she just wanted to like offload a bunch of her stuff and she happened to shop at this store a lot so she gave me a lot of pieces by them but it was just this really basic lightweight heathered gray sweater in a size small I think it had like three quarter length sleeves but just super basic so the 34% off price on this bundle came out to $41 and I made $32.80 off of those three pieces which you know isn't a whole lot but I was running that sale so I was not mad about it and then the last thing that sold actually sold literally within like an hour of me listing it and it was something that had been returned to me before because the woman said that it came off much more orange in person than she wanted or maybe it was the other way around maybe it came off more red in person but I think it was orange like it just came off too orange in person and it is kind of hard to capture the color of this tank but it's Lululemon it's the Power Y Racerback tank with a shelf bra in a size 8 so I put in the listing this time like I didn't say what color it was I think I just said like orangish red or something like that and it sold for $15 because it was part of my, you know, what is it, 34% off sale. I think the person originally offered me like $12, but I got them up to $15, which was, you know, 34% off of my original asking price, which I think was $24. That's where I start all of my Lululemon, like, basic workout tanks because they just don't really go for that much anymore. Like if I can get $18 for a Lululemon tank, that's, I, I consider myself lucky. So I made $12 off of that tank. I asked earlier last week how to be a part of the global shipping program over on eBay because I always hear people talking about how they will sell things internationally, but because they use the global shipping program, all they have to do is ship it to Kentucky and they only have to pay for you know that domestic shipping rate. So I had someone, I will put her Instagram handle here. It's like Marine Del Rue. I don't know how to say her Instagram handle, but I will link her here because she told me how to sign up for the global shipping program. It was not an easy process in terms of like how to find it. If she didn't tell me how to do it, I would have never figured it out by myself because eBay is so not intuitive. However, I will say I was having an issue with eBay with like some shipping labels and I called eBay, which is really nice because Poshmark, there's no phone number. Like if you have an issue with Poshmark, you have to email them and it takes them like forever to get back to you. So it was really cool that I was having an issue with eBay and I could call them and a human being picked up the phone and helped me resolve the issue within like, I don't know, we were on the phone for like five to 10 minutes. So that was really exciting. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off track here. I finally, you know, figured out how to do the global shipping program, probably on like Thursday or Fridays when I signed up for it. I definitely signed up for a store subscription first, and then I, you know, entered to be a part of the global shipping program. And this pair of True Religion Distressed Cora straight leg jeans in a size 24, they were like this black color, they sold as a part of that global shipping program, which is really exciting. Um, if you know how to figure out like where it's shipped to for real, please let me know in the comment section down below because all I know is that it sold as a part of the global shipping program and that I'm shipping this off to Kentucky, but I don't know like where they're going to send it to. And I think that it would be really cool to find out. So if you could let me know how to do that in the comment section below, I would really appreciate it. But these sold as part of my 34% off sale. So they paid $19.79. 
I did put free shipping on there, so I had to pay $4.98 for shipping, and so I made $12.24 off of those pants. I don't know where I got those. <laughs> I don't remember. We'll just leave it at that. That was my only eBay sale of the day for today. The last thing that sold over on Mercari, this was my one and only Mercari sale, it was this black Torah dress it had a cold shoulder and it was like this trapeze dress like very strappy and very like flowy it was in a size 2x and it sold for 24 dollars, which was i believe my full asking price and i did put free shipping on there basically everything on mercari now i just do with free shipping and i use pirate ship to ship things over and i have noticed just an increase in my sales over on mercari by doing that with the exception of this week because i only had this one sale and so i did pay five dollars and twelve cents on pirate ship for this item it was kind of heavy for a dress so i made 16 dollars 48 off of that sale i think that i did get that dress though at the bins so i was really happy with that 16 dollars 48 profit on that dress i just took a moment to check and see if i sold anything else while i was filming i did get an offer over on ebay but i countered because it was very low <laughs> i have a couple likes on poshmark i will respond to those likes by letting those people know about the sale that's going to be ending tonight and hopefully I make a few more sales. If I do, then I will definitely let you know about them in next week's What Sold video. But this week, I sold a total of 29 items for $468.78. Again, that is the amount going into my bank account because I've already factored out the price of shipping and of Poshmark fees and Recari fees and all that kind of stuff. So $468.78 is what's going in my bank account. That's $306.85 from Poshmark with a total of 26 items that I sold over there, $145.45 on eBay, with a total of, I definitely, I said two items, but that's super wrong because obviously I sold more than two items over on eBay. Oh, I wrote the number 11, not, I thought it was like a tally. And then one item over on Recari for a total of $16.48. Of all of those things that I sold, which again, I sold 38 items, five of them were bundles over on Poshmark and I sold a total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32 women's pieces, five men's pieces, and one children's piece. So it was a really good week for me. It was just like, you know, pretty steady with sales. I had a couple bigger items like those Jimmy Choo's. I had some really low items like those auctions with, you know, $1.99. Overall, I'm really happy with how the week went. I hope you guys had some amazing sales this week as well. And I hope that it just continues to pick up for all of us as we get into quarter four. I am gonna have a video coming up soon about how to prepare for quarter four, but this week I believe I'm gonna have a video about cross-listing, especially about how to use list perfectly. And yeah, that's what's coming up. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe if you are not subscribed already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.